aquarium reopened today, less than 24 hours after the attack inside. And what happened yesterday is affecting more than just the victims and their families. It has left some families feeling as if their sense of safety has changed while being out in public. Our Keith Garvin continues our live team coverage. He is right outside the aquarium for us tonight. Keith? Dominique, the aquarium closed just over an hour ago after a full day of operation, so no one outside in line right now, but for most of the day, we can tell you they were packed. Less than 24 hours after Thursday's tragic murder-suicide, the lines were full at Houston's downtown aquarium, almost as if nothing had happened. In fact, of all the people we spoke to Friday evening, most of them had no idea what transpired inside the aquarium's restaurant yesterday evening. I wouldn't expect them to be open, especially if something like that happened, and then not to let anybody know. The question many had was, how could the local and tourist attraction be open the very next day after a shooting that took the lives of two men and wounded a woman? The decision did not sit well with some. It happened in the restaurant, at least blocked the restaurant up. You got somebody may sit in the same spot if what just happened. Others, like the Johnson family in town from Birmingham, Alabama, learned of the shootings Thursday night. We went to social media and uh, checked the details. The Johnsons decided to keep their plans. If the police department and the municipality, you know, are up on their game and, and did the proper things, you know, and went, went thoroughly through the investigation and all that, yeah, we open back for business. Thursday's tragedy appears to be an isolated incident, according to investigators, but it occurs in the midst of a sharp increase in the city's murder and crime rates. Tourists and visitors are aware of the spikes, with some hoping the wave doesn't create a stigma for the Bayou City. Houston's already got this thing about the crime rate being up, the murder rate being up and stuff, so it's something else to hold over. I also talked to a spokesperson with Houston First. That's the corporation that promotes the city's convention and entertainment venues. And I was told by that individual that they say so far there have been no reported concerns from any clients or tourists regarding this recent increase in crime. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News.